We're going in about 30 seconds. Uh, you need one weight, one weight that's suitable that you might hold for a, an SLRDL, and then also something suitable for a, a row. <clears throat> and we're going to get going here shortly. <clears throat> All right. Nice job showing up, folks. It's good for you. I'm starting my watch. Welcome to another day of working out with Dwayne. It's Tuesday. I'm pretty sure of it. Let's start moving uh, with our side shuffle. So I'm still relegated to low to moderate activity. <laughs> I'm not losing my mind at all over that. The last time you saw me, I think I was like, yeah, this should be fun. I'll get all this recovery. By the way, if you want to do this faster, you do it faster for your warm up. So, yeah, a week ago, I probably seemed like I was okay because I was going to recover from all the training I had done and all oh, the rest was going to do me good. <clears throat> yeah, you take a week of zero intensity, I am losing my mind. Three, two, one, come out of that. We're going to walk out the butt kickers. So tomorrow, tomorrow I get to do something with some intensity. <sighs> I'm not even sure if I can anymore. Okay, well, snap those heels up. When you lift the heel off the, when you lift the foot off the floor, also lift the toe inside the shoe, okay? And then if it's there for you, let's jog it out. Three, two, one, and you can jog. I'm going to keep doing the walking. Excellent. If your breathing is elevating, let it elevate, okay? Huffing and puffing is not a sign of weakness. It's a sign that you're moving and exercising. Three, two, one. Come on, out of that. Perfect. Let's just do some standing, uh, standing marching, but we're not going to do this very fast. I want the left leg come up the left hand and then hold. Three, two, one. Switch sides. Right knee to right hand and hold. Three, two, one. One, switch sides. Three, two, one, switch. This is just to wake up the balance because we need it. Switch. Three, two, one, switch. And you can press the hand into the knee, the knee into the hand. Two, one, switch. Three, two, one, switch. Three, two, one, switch. This is the last one for this side. Two. One, switch. Last one here. Two, one, switch. Perfect. All right, arm circles. Let's make them small. Little tiny circles. You might have your hands a little bit more in front or a little more to the side or a little higher. Uh, move it around. Check it out. You're making little circles. Elbows are stiff. Stomach is tight. And then make a couple circles in one place and then a couple circles in another place. And move it around two or three circles per location. And let's change direction. So same idea. All you're just going to do is change direction. Pick different places randomly in the air. Okay. This is like you've fallen out of the lifeboat and now you're trying to remember how sculling worked from when you learned when you were seven years old in swim class. It's like, hey, where, where, do, I, where do the hands go? What's chewing on my leg? Three two, one, and shake that out. Okay. So we're going to be using glutes and, and hamstrings quite a bit, but not with a lunge exercise. We're still going to use the lunge as a warm up. So let's, uh, what I'd like to do is if we're going to step back with the right leg and then the hands come to the inside, things get as low as possible. And then we just come right out of that position and switch sides. Okay. Uh, and then as low as you can go, might be like halfway down, hands or forearms on the opposite knee. We're just switching sides back and forth, continuously moving in and out of this position. All right. One of the pieces I want you to pay attention to is when you go to step back with one leg, pay attention to that balance piece. That has to wake up completely in the next, like right away, uh, for those SLRDLs. Okay. <clears throat> 
And if in the next minute you fail to gather up all the balance required to do SLRDLs that look really good, that doesn't matter, okay? It's about going through the process, accepting what you've got and working at it, okay? Uh, this is the last one for me on this side. I'm going to do one more on the other side, and then we'll get the show on the road. All right, perfect. So SLRDLs compared with uh, compared uh, paired with rowing. So here we go. Let me show you first. If the weight is in my right hand, it's the right foot that swings backwards. Okay. The goal is on that side, my right side, ear, shoulder, hip, knee, and ankle, all in a line, okay? And the other goal is the leg that's on the ground, the knee is almost totally straight, okay, not quite, and then it doesn't change from there. It doesn't matter how far you go forwards, okay? Uh, I would encourage you not to lean against something to make it easier, but rather just deal with the instability of what's going on, because that's how you're gonna get better at it. Um, do that for 40 seconds, the rest for 30, and then we're gonna um, take that same weight in the same hand, um, hinge over at the hips, and then one arm row for 40 seconds, okay? All right, I'm going in 10. Okay, good. We're gonna try three rounds, three, yep, three rounds of that. 40 on, 30 off. Ready? And here we go. SLRDLs on one side. So one of the ways that I make this easier for myself today is just use a, a weight that I feel is light. And then I'm also not going as far over as I possibly could. Okay. The third thing is I'm really paying attention to my breath. If I notice at some point that I'm kind of grunting to get something out, I need to pair back from that. So smooth breath. Three, two, one. Come on out of that. Okay. So that's how I'm making it easy. Uh, to make it harder for you, if you want to really get as much out of this as possible, uh, number one is find a weight that challenges you. Uh, a little bit more, and then really focus when you go forwards, go as far as you possibly can, keeping everything in that straight line. Okay, rowing in three, two, one, here we go. And so here, your exhale is paired with your lift. So as you lift, you exhale. This should be relatively controlled, okay? Now, if you only have that three pound weight and you don't have anything else and you're wondering how you can make three pounds feel heavier um, one way is to go faster but stay in control okay so faster 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 and then honestly the other way is to go slower 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 so you'd lower it really slowly okay rest we're resting now and you can pop it up and lower really slowly for the first maybe five or six reps, it's gonna feel easy. And then all of a sudden it might feel like, oh, okay, now this is getting harder. Okay, we're doing SLRDLs, other side. <clears throat> so now if you're following my same way, uh, weight in the left hand, here we go. Left leg swings backwards. So one of the things that I found as I'm trying to take it easy is I can still focus on, I can still develop balance and improve my balance because there's no intensity involved there, just frustration. <laughs> so that's okay. With this again, as your body comes up, you exhale. And rest, perfect. Uh, if, you're if you don't have any options for weight, so I said to make this harder, go heavier. Uh, if that doesn't work, you can 
stick with the light weight, bend over as far as possible, pulse there, like do one little pulse and then come up, that makes it way harder. You do fewer, we're stuck to 40 seconds, so that's how this works, but you can always just do more, right? Okay, ready? We're rowing, other side, side number two. Keep breathing. The end must be coming. Pretty soon. And rest. <clears throat> I had to look, I thought the timer broke. I am working on a system where the sound of the timer gets put through the computer. Um, apparently the technology required to make that happen is similar to landing on the moon. So uh, that's a whole next level. <laughs> Which I, th I thought, well, how hard could this be? That's really hard apparently. Okay, SLRDLs, side one, hand, weight in the right hand. Here we go, right leg swings backwards. But the AV guys are on it. Uh, so it should work out sometime. Oh. Notice if you're holding your breath at any point during this exercise, that's gonna throw your balance off, okay? I'm reminded of how your breath gives you balance all the time when I try to talk while I'm doing this and uh, doesn't work very well. Rest, that's the end of that one. Nice job. Okay, we've just started round two. Next up, rowing right hand, <clears throat> 10 seconds. So forecast, at least for Regina area, um, snowstorm today. Grab your weight, ready, set, here we go. So we'll see what, what that brings. <clears throat> I really like snowstorms actually. Keep, at, keep breathing, exhale as you rise or exhale as you lift. I never understood why people like light, like thunderstorms because lightning shoots out of the sky and starts stuff on fire. That doesn't seem like fun, but uh, rest, rest. But snowstorms, <clears throat> snowstorms are completely different. Uh, they block streets, shut stuff down, make you stay home, uh, eat the food that you already have in your fridge, and just chill and relax. <laughs> and then go outside and ski and snowshoe and drive through snow drifts. Okay, SLRDL, weight in the left hand, left leg goes backwards. Here we go. Oh, hey, this is the second time on this leg. Is it getting better for you? Is it primed up? If the first set is kind of wonky, just look forward to the second set being better. And match your breath with your movement. If you fall over, that's okay. Don't judge yourself. And rest. Uh, if you're going to judge anybody, judge the people that didn't show up this morning. That's who you judged. <clears throat> you know what? Maybe they got up an hour before and did a YouTube workout because they're so busy and capable that they just, their day is going now and they couldn't stop to do this little workout with us. <laughs> or they're sleeping. Okay, rowing, left side, ready. Set, here we go.
Nice work. Exhale as you rise. Five seconds to go. And rest. All right, two rounds done. Ready to get ready for the third round to start pretty soon. So that's an interesting topic. Uh, what do you think about someone that you know that you've noticed doesn't zoom in on a given day? They've, they're missing the workout. What do you think about them? All right, compare that to yourself on a day that you don't zoom in and you don't do the workout, what do you think about yourself, all right? Compare those two thoughts. SLRDLs, side one, right hand, here we go. So as I generalize, and I assume everyone's the same, it's quite common when your friend or someone you know does not join a workout like this, the presumption is, hmm, you know, maybe they're tired, maybe they're busy, they got something else going on. I'm sure we'll see them next time. That might be a common thought. <clears throat> if I don't show up for a workout that I'm supposed to do, it's common for me to think, uh, okay, rest, put that down. It's common for me to think, oh, come on, what's wrong with you? You got to do this. You're inconsistent. You're not showing up when you're supposed to do better. I'll automatically judge myself a little more harshly than everybody else. It's a good practice to judge yourself like you would others in most cases. All right, rowing, right side, three, two, one. Here we go, rowing. Now, if you give yourself all the credit in the world and you just assume everyone else is as lazy and not working hard enough, uh, you might want to just adjust that attitude a little bit. <laughs> Here we go. Last time on this side. Uh, if you want a little extra going, just speed it up, but stay in control. Okay. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Rest, put that down. All right. Okay, coming up to SLRDLs, side two, last time. Get ready for the finale of this. Perfect. 10 seconds. Weight in left hand. In three, two, one. Here we go, hinging from the right hip. Even with this exercise, as my left foot goes backwards, I like to lift the toes inside my shoe. Always with the toes. Anybody buy themselves a brand new shiny shovel for the beginning of the season? My neighbor went and got two. Keep her going and rest. Perfect. Uh, here's a good question. Uh, how many shovels do you have and what kind of snow or type of conditions is each one for? <clears throat> if the answer is more than three and you know which, what conditions each one is for, you have lived here too long. Okay, rowing, left side, three, two, one, here we go. Last rowing, last arm, back is nice and straight. If you're moving this up and down really fast, you might not be exhaling on every lift, which is okay, because if you're going really fast, the weight isn't that heavy, okay? Just realize that if I was to go faster, then I'd be huffing and puffing. And that's not how we should do this. Only seven seconds to go.
and rest. Put that weight down, walk it out, grab some water, get ready for part B. Nice job. All right. So I've got a timer that doesn't make any noise now, which you won't notice any difference because you can't hear it anyways, but I just have to watch it. Uh, oh yeah, I better put this on the floor. Okay, exercise number one. Uh, plank to downward dog and then pedal the heels. So <clears throat> we do plank and then we pop this up to the downward dog. <clears throat> Pedal one heel, pedal, pedal the other heel, and then come back, all right? This can be done really slowly and methodically, or pop, pop, and then the pedals are slow, okay? They stay slow. And then pop, pop, pedal stays slow, okay? Um, if being in a plank position with your hands in that position and your body level is simply too hard and you get the old chair back of the couch something that's off the ground okay and then the downward dog will work fine um, the heels might be a little bit further back Ooh, that's going to tip on me so pedal pedal and then at least in this plank position um, it's, it's manageable for you okay all right that's paired with bridging okay so the bridging here what we're going to do for 40 seconds is pop up. All right, once we're up there, we're gonna pulse one centimeter. That's it, okay? I want the weight through the heels mostly. All right, we just drop just a touch and then press it back up, 40 seconds, all right? To make that a little bit gentler, what you can do is maybe pulse two or three times and then come down take a breath, come back up and keep going. Okay. To make it a little harder, if you've got that weight that you had for rowing, hold that weight on your stomach. Okay. So here, just hold that there. And then the stomach actually has to contract. Otherwise the kettlebell sinks into your guts. Right. And then you just do that exercise with your kettlebell. All right, cool. Are we ready? Absolutely. All right, I'm gonna hit that. Okay, 10 seconds. Plank to downward dog, pedaling the heels. This is a really good one. It's not too intense, I don't think. Ready, set, here we go. Um, it has some strength development in it, and then it also has some mobility pieces to it, okay? So, I don't know, it kind of resembles what an animal does in the morning when they get up, right? Watch your cat or dog do its thing when it when it gets up right uh, it goes through motions interestingly it doesn't really seem to be concerned about exactly how it's doing it it just does what feels good and that's kind of part of how this should feel all right and rest oh my i'm not sure if you heard it but my dinger now made a noise huh, okay Okay, we only have a 20 second rest, so flip over. Get ready for, uh, I'm gonna use my weight actually. Get ready for bridging. That felt good. Okay, in three, two, one, up. Get it up there, weight through the heels and pulse, slow pulsing. All right. This should look like, this should look like you lying on the floor trying desperately to either get those jeans that almost fit you. You're now trying to get them on or off, right? Once they come, once they get on, sometimes they don't get off. They don't come off very easily. So this is you kind of gently squirming your hips around to get those tight pants back off. <laughs> come on, here we go. Squeeze it out and rest. <clears throat> Luckily, they figured out that <clears throat> apparently jeans need to be sold universally with uh, stretch material. So, okay, downward dog, plank to downward dog, ready, set, here we go. And pedal, pedal, 
This you can do at the pace that feels right for you. When you get up into that downward dog, try to really open your armpits. Look between your ankles. Get some shoulder mobility going. You're probably exhaling as the bum rises. And depending on how fast you're doing it, you're taking extra breath just because it's taking a while. And rest, perfect. Good. Uh, how many times are we doing this? Let's see, uh, three times. Okay, five seconds, get ready for bridging. Three, two, one. Up we go, and then pulse. If you are holding a weight on your stomach uh, and you're using your stomach muscles to support that weight, you get some pretty good feedback as to when your stomach relaxes and the, and the weight just sinks into your guts. And that reminds you, oh, I gotta hold my tummy tight. Small motion. With the weight on me, I feel like the motion is getting too big. Hmm. Just little. And rest. Perfect. Yeah. I'll have to watch this video later and see if I'm even doing that right. Doesn't matter. I'm still doing it. Still working. Okay. Plank to downward dog in five. Three, two, one. Here we go. <clears throat> Second last little bit of exercise here. As that bum raises, the stomach really has to engage to get you get to get you going there, right? Ten seconds to go. And rest. Cool. All right, get ready for our last exercise, bridging. Then a gentle stretch and we're off to work. All right, get ready in three, two, one. Pop those hips up and little tiny motion from the top. By this third set, you might start to feel what this is doing for you. Anybody feel any tingling in their glute muscles? Maybe hamstrings. Keep that motion small. So you might just exhale as you pulse it upward or you're just breathing naturally to get enough air in. We must be almost done. And we are, rest. Perfect. <clears throat> All right. Let's stay sitting on the floor. Unless you have to get up and grab some water. Uh, we're gonna do a little glute stretch in this uh, lying down position, okay? Turn that off. Perfect. All right, nice job, folks. So from this position, I'm gonna lie flat back onto my back. I'm gonna take my left ankle, put it across my right knee. And then from here, I've got some options. Uh, number one, I'd like to kind of keep the space uh, underneath my lower back. So I'm going to try to arch my back. If the space goes away, I'm not going to worry about it as long as I'm trying to roll my bum away from me and arch my back. All right. Now from here, I'm going to grab my shin, my uh, left shin. I'm going to use my right leg to lift up off the ground. This is a stretch for your left glute, left buttocks. Uh, if you're flexible enough and you have long arms, you might reach through and grab that right thigh and then put your head back on the floor and relax. Uh, and breathe. Maybe reflect on, was this a tougher morning for you to get up and you still did it? If that's the case, how do you feel right now? 
that's what you want to think about the next day when you're trying to get out of bed to join an exercise class or do anything like this. Three, two, one, and let's switch sides, okay? I think right ankle over left knee, I think that's the key. All right, so however you did the first leg, you might do it the same, or you might have one leg that's different than the other, okay? Yeah, I think that's the key to, uh, I guess, finding the motivation to do certain things. At the moment when you're the happiest doing something that you're probably supposed to do, remember that and remember it when you have to do it again, like at the beginning when you don't want to. All right, three, two, one, let that go. Oh, not today. Not today of working out. Nice job, everybody. Thanks for showing up. I appreciate it. So does your body. And I will see you again on Thursday. Take care.